GMT watches are a strong trend in 2023 and I think the main reason is that now finally movements are available at a relatively low price and so it's possible even for micro brands to crank out these interesting watches. And the latest release comes from the Sweden based manufacturer Nizumi and these guys are pretty much into cars and 70s design and so let's see what they're up to now. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and our topic today is the Nizumi Aviera GMT watch. But first little question, why are they so fascinating, these GMT watches? And my theory is that you can really see time zones on the watch, you really see or you can imagine the globe with all these different spots and countries and continents and time zones and I think this is very fascinating. And the other thing is that a GMT watch typically is a traveling watch and a traveling watch should be very fairly robust I think and in fact you find now many GMT watches that are super robust with a great water tightness and other other strong features and this is exactly what we have here. I have it on the wrist right now 200 meter water resistance and the price is believe it or not under the 400 euro mark at least without VAT and it's possible only because of relatively affordable movements as said because you can check out the back catalog of Nizumi and you find there your 1500 euro or 1500 US dollar watch immensely um, expensive watch is compared to this one and this is because of the movement. The other, the, the 1500 euro watch has a Swiss made movement and in one of my latest videos I go over watch prices and over calculations. You find it there in the upper right corner in case you haven't seen it yet and there I give you the number for a let's say Silita movement and when you compare this Silita price wise to a Seiko and what we have here is a Seiko movement then you will realize and understand why these, this huge difference in price between 400 and let's say 1400 euros for a watch with a relatively similar design. And here we are with the Aviera Automatic GMT made by Nizumi Stockholm in Sweden. Here is clearly stated that this is a sample, this is a prototype, this is not the final product. There will be some changes and I will inform you about these changes of course. Now let's unbox it and the watch is available with a blue and a black dial. I have the black dial and it's available or will be available with a Jubilee bracelet and this was not available for this review so they sent it on leather and on rubber. I will show you everything, every combination of course. Here I put it on the case back number two strap but let's go first over the specifications. We have here a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a length lug to lug of 47. The height including the crystal is 13.5, lug width here convenient 20. We have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside and the movement here is the mentioned Seiko NH34, the minimal power reserve of 40 hours. We have a 24 hour fixed bezel, steel, brushed, a screw down crown and the entire construction is waterproof up to 200 meters. Price here is indicated with 3680 Swedish crowns and this translates into 328 euros and 353 US dollars stated without any form of taxes. So let's first go over the changes. The logo will appear a bit smaller and the case back will be completely different. So they asked me not to show you the case back. There's a bit of an engraving. But now let's begin here with the dial. We have a very, very legible dial with loomed hands, numerals on 12, 3, 6 and 9. Very good for orientation and of course a very symmetric dial. On the dial you see definitely a bit of cost cutting because it's flat, it's printed. There you see the Aviera, the name is by the way a mixture of aviation and Navigera and Navigera is Swedish for to navigate and so this should underline the, the functionality of the watch here. And although this is a very affordable watch, the finishing, the construction is flawless, absolutely flawless. You have here some brushed sides. The case, by the way, reminds me a bit of a Speedy Reduced, Omega Speedmaster Reduced with the um, same form of the bezel here. 
and with these lugs, so very close to a speedy, but the dial is pretty different. Here you see the coating at work. Very nice, very, very legible that watch, especially with that massive yellow GMT hand over there. And now let's check the functionality. Screw down crown, as mentioned, pretty, pretty tough, nice thread. And now it's that you have your position two to set the time. There you go. Hackable movement. And now you can feel really that this is not a slitter or an ETA or something super high quality because it is a bit loose. See that? It is a bit loose. You feel that there is not the, the Swiss made machinery inside. But of course we have to understand as explained before that the difference in price between that Seiko and a Solita is huge. So it would be very strange and somewhat disappointing <laughs> when we don't have any form of difference here. So with position one now, you can set the GMT hand in small increments. This you find on most GMT watches works just nice. And so let's go back, let's close the watch. That feels very good as said and then you're good to go. Okay, this is the watch head. Now now let's play a bit around with the with the variants. As said, this is the Caseback Watches number two strap, but it also came with rubber, with this beige, bright beige rubber strap. And it also came with a black tropical rubber strap. So this is very conservative, but you see it definitely worked. Bit boring. I mean, these combinations are often more interesting to look at. Here you have the nice matching of the hands and indices, the color with the strap, of course. Then they delivered some leather straps. To tell you the truth, I'm not the biggest fan of these leather straps because they're very, very basic. And they're very simple. They're basically glued together and with that stitching, but it has its fans, absolutely. And when you like these, this kind of strap, then then no problem, good for you. They are the cheapest products you can buy wholesale, by the way. This construction method goes for a uh, single digit wholesale price. And there you go, as always, 17 centimeter wrist, 40 millimeter watch head. And you see, pretty, pretty legible. Let's rearrange it a bit away from the bone. There you go. I think we should go outside and check it out under broad daylight now. And there we are again. And so if you like the design of the watch, if you like the functionality and the specs, um, there is not so much to, to argue against with. I mean, this is a very affordable, good looking watch. It's assembled in Germany by very high standards. So I think you really can expect a maculous uh, quality and functionality. I would check it out with a, with a Jubilee bracelet. One review said it's rather bulky and a bit clumsy, but I cannot, I cannot second that. I simply don't know. I mean, it cannot be super high end for, for such a price, but I think this is understandable. Welcome back. And as said, the Aviera will be available this summer, so in a few weeks. And available right now is the second batch of my super luxurious watch roll at casebackwatches.com. Com. Thank you very much for your support, guys. The first buyers were pretty satisfied with the first batch of that watch roll at a, you know, I'd say introductionary price. Now it's back. The next batch is in, in the shop now with a nice Cobra branding. Price a little bit higher, but if you say introductionary price, then you have to stick to your word, right? So it's a bit smidgen, smidgen higher, but you really get something for your money. High quality, made in Germany, vegetable tanned leather. This is really the Ferrari of the watch roll. All right, now last point of the video, your images, viewers' images sent in to casebackwatches at iCloud.com. And this time we have something from Jeremy and we have a Paul Yacht here. Hi Tim, I have to give you credit for introducing me to the Paul Yacht brand. This Paul Yacht signal is really charming and so much fun to wear. I love the tactile quality of the alarm when it buzzes. Stay safe and keep up your excellent work. Thank you, Jeremy, for sending this in. And I know exactly what you mean with the tactile quality of the alarm, because when it goes off, of course, you have this buzzing on your wrist, but when it's without any tension, then sometimes you have this little bumper. 
making a bit of noise if you move your arm. And many people think then there is something broken, especially when you have not that, that relatively affordable polio. When you have there a super expensive Jeje Le Coultre Mimo Vox and people hear without tension this bumper doing this clicking sound, then people sometimes freak out, but it's not broken. It's absolutely in order when you hear a bit of click, click, click. And then of course, when the alarm goes up, very, very fine, very fine experience if you ask me. And the next image I've lost, to be honest, there was a mail from one of the first buyers of my first wallets. German guy sent me a watch. I think it was a Seiko and I think it was in front of a church and I was looking for that, that email and I didn't, I couldn't find it anymore. Very sorry. So if you were watching this, please, please send it again and apologies for my uh, yeah, the chaos in the mailbox. And dear viewer, as always, if you want to participate here, then caseplatewatches at iCloud.com is your email address. There you can submit images from your favorite watches, your favorite places or everything together. And that's all for this episode. Thank you very much for your attention and until next time.